Merry Christmas, everybody. Here's what we're having for first thing in the morning. Bacon and some champagne <laughs> because it's Christmas. Oh, also I wanted to show you guys these beautiful flowers that Kaylee mailed over to us. They're so pretty. Thank you, Kaylee. I just got out of the shower, so I look kind of crazy, but Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yesterday I said that I was going to wear a different shirt and I'm still wearing the same <laughs> shirt because we just woke up. I'm going to take a shower and like we're going to well, get ready. We've been sleeping downstairs with the dogs because it's too hard to bring the dogs upstairs with all of their like ailments that are happening. So we've been sleeping on the couch with them and uh, it's been rough. Yeah, and I think today <laughs> we're gonna have a Christmas cake. Yay, the crispy s'mores. Dave and Steffi sent this over to us and now we have a cake to have for Christmas today. Oh, that's really funny. I didn't know, didn't realize that they sent it over because it says it's from Iceland. Yeah, no, it was from them, I think. I'm huh. almost positive. Well, all right. Yay, Iceland Merry cake. Christmas. But let's open the fancy champagne. Oh my gosh. I think you're supposed to put a towel over it. I think so too. Oh no, I can feel it. Oh gosh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Oh. Oh, you did it. I did it. Yay. Uh-oh, now what are you doing? Making some, I almost called this sausage. <laughs> this is definitely toast. It's like fried toast. Yeah, this is what we do down south and it's not really good for you at all. Is this what we do down south? Yeah, so <laughs> we had two pieces of toast yesterday and today. So four total, we used an entire stick of butter on those four pieces of toast. Oh my gosh, no wonder. I was like violently ill yesterday. This no, is probably wasn't, why. It wasn't because of the, <laughs> it was because of something else. I don't know. Oh, it was, it was actually bad almond milk. Yeah, because almond milk says that it, it has an expiration date of like, or an expiry date of like the middle of February, but if you have <laughs> opened it, it goes bad faster. Yeah, I always wondered, because it said it was like, I'd like we bought it in December and it was like, oh, it expires in March. And I was like, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, this is the bread with all the butter. Some of the bacon that I had today was expiring in March. That's different because it it's like cured in salt. Yeah. Plus I have an iron constitution. He really does. We the people. He wouldn't get sick like I would, but he could eat the same thing and totally not get sick. Yeah. Merry so, Christmas! When I get sick, you know that it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Are you making some uh, some macaroni and cheese? Yeah, we're gonna try this again and see how we do. Um, I'm not done adding all the ingredients. I have to add milk and all that stuff. But, well, remember the last time we made it? I think it was for Thanksgiving. It wasn't quite right. Yeah. So I'm hoping this will turn out a little bit better. <laughs> it already looks a little bit better. It already think, looks a lot better. Well, we're using the right noodles this time, too. I think that makes kind of a big difference. Yeah. I think I need more... Cheese? Stuff. I don't know. I need more something. <laughs> I think I may have found a recipe that might work. This looks like not too terrible. I'm going to cook this up for a little bit and then I'm going to put the cheese on top and like the breadcrumbs and all that fun stuff. Bye macaroni and cheese. And now I'm going to start to boil these red bliss potatoes. This is almost ready. And we're going to have some like loaded mashed potatoes with dinner, which should be very delicious. We got some bacon that we're going to add into those and scallions and some cheese and it's gonna be really good i can't wait so i've got my potatoes boiling and i am what i'm not talking to you i'm cooking and i'm talking to them sorry <laughs> what hey, are you doing uh i'm like making up an end card for our videos oh so i just wanted to like see if we could give it a try on this video so at the end of this video let me know what you guys think of like the last 10 or 20 seconds where there's just like a thing that has links and stuff like that Brussels sprouts. Sprouts. <laughs> Thanks. So it's time to start the Brussels sprouts. We're doing Brussels sprouts with bacon and Parmesan cheese, and it's going to be like a sauteed up little mixture fun thing. Um, I don't know. It's, I've never tried this recipe. It's just something I found on the internet. So hopefully it works. But look at these Brussels sprouts. Look how big they are. Am I crazy or is that like really big, right? I cut them in half already, so I can't show you like just one that's not cut. But that's like a big Brussels sprout. Like, what the heck? What the heck is this? It's like a mashup between Manamana and Mambo Number no. 5, but it's a Christmas song. Just wait. Here comes the chorus. What? Manamana. Apparently the Muppets are in this song. I have to look and see what song this is. It was Fozzie. This is CeeLo Green featuring the Muppets. This is like, this is everything I've ever wanted in my life. Sweet cheesy goodness. Yeah, I think this recipe actually turned out pretty good. Heck. Yes. It was a Betty Crocker recipe, so I figured it would be probably terrible for us, but also delicious. 
and it turned out okay. And what's this? Brussels sprouts. Ah. Yeah, they're gonna be so delicious. I didn't turn on the thing. Oh no. And there it is. We're having steak for dinner. Tim got some fillets. I am trying to keep these Brussels sprouts warm. We've got our macaroni and cheese there, and there's me. There's a Tim. Yeah. What do you think? I'm excited. I'm excited too. It's gonna be delicious. Now that is a Christmas dinner. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. It's gonna be so good. Also, our friend Mike got us an edible arrangement that is not arranged anymore, <laughs> but it's definitely still edible, and we're gonna eat it. Look at these chocolate covered strawberries. That one actually looks like a plum right now, but I'm gonna eat chocolate covered strawberries because they're delicious. Doesn't get any more Christmassy than the 2014 version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right. So that movie wasn't too bad. Like it was pretty enjoyable. I do have to admit, I make fun of J.J. Abrams for his lens flares, but Michael Bay, oh boy, this guy puts out some lens flares. I just found Newsies on Hulu. Heck yeah. It's a Christmas miracle. So we finished watching Newsies, amazing movie. If you guys haven't seen Newsies, please go watch it because it was really good and the music in it is fantastic. So I watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and then Hulu just starts playing something else. It's like, I'm gonna pick a next movie for you and it was like interstellar. I was like, those two things have nothing to do with each other. And then I watched Newsies and it's like, you know what, we're gonna play the next thing that you might like to see after seeing Newsies, which apparently is Disney's blank check. Terrible movie. Uh, I don't know why they picked it. I don't know why it's playing right now, but it is. So you know those like fireplace at home things where you like put a fireplace up on your TV? I found one where they're just cooking something. And like, we just watch it cook. Which is ridiculous. All right, this is getting out of hand. Now it's just a thermostat and people are like fighting over what temperature it should be in the house. This one is literally sap dripping from a tree. What in the world? I could do this, like I could come up with something crazy like this and just put it up for like an hour and a half. Finished up the evening by watching a documentary about uh, Saturday Night Live. It was a James Franco documentary that was all about Saturday Night Live, which was amazing. It was a lot of fun. It was a really good documentary to watch. We're not done with it, but hopefully we'll finish watching it soon because uh, I was really interested in it. But uh, as you can tell, it is no longer Christmas the next day so we gotta go to bed and i will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price